Hey, my name is Edith. So what do you know me as? Mama B and B or Editorial? All right, I've got good news. So I want to officially invite you to the grand opening of a Golden Hotel and Garden located at Plus Six Storage Depot. Old Car Jukwe Road, Abuja by Living Faith Road. Well, punning on the twenty first of October. 2023 you're welcome, welcome to our, our hotel. hotel we assure you standard services security and comfort hey you guys what's up guys how are you guys doing okay so <laughs> this is me revealing to you my most hidden secret <laughs> my most hidden secret anyway guys so how are you guys doing let me take you guys back to the memory lane but before that let me show you guys this this is my invite this is my invite for you guys that may be able to come and for some of you guys that may not be able to come that have been watching my videos for so long and that deserves this invitation yeah <laughs> I hope you're able to read that however I'm going to read it out for you guys so what am I going to tie to this video what has my nine years of doing YouTube fetch me hmm. It has fetched me a whole lot of things. Good things, beautiful things, revenue, money, happiness, hard work, haters, <laughs> haters in all ramification of in all corner, left, right, center. without hard work haters will not even see you so i just came back from conducting interview of almost 100 people i conducted interview for 50 people today and i'm like i need to release this video today or tomorrow because the opening date is near and I don't want to open this place without inviting some YouTubers. I'm going to be making a video inviting some very, very sweet YouTubers. Some of the ones that, you know, made my YouTube career a success, like for instance, the ones that actually motivated me, the ones that inspired me, the ones that I love, the ones that I should give them the honor. Like, I'm going to invite a lot of people. I'm going to send emails. So when that video is out, <laughs> please honor my invitation. Anyway, guys, let me go back to the memory lane. The first person I saw I saw when I got into YouTube was Omabel because of uh, you know pimples that she was trying to you know take care of that time and you know since I've actually worked in a spa I wanted to I was interested to to see what she is using because I know what I can give out to cure pimples, dark spots and stuff because I've worked in a spa. The very first content I, I created was a makeup. Of course, you know, since I got into YouTube, seeing Oma Bell, 
she does makeup and she was battling with her pimples as at that time so i was very much interested and then i was into makeup i did makeup i went to go and learn makeup and then i was doing makeup on youtube here and then since i was not having good light good camera my makeup was not selling on youtube here and then i decided to change and i then saw there's this youtuber she's um anyway her name is promise fan promise fan her name is promise but her youtube name is promise fan and then she was doing dramatic makeup dramatic um and transformation makeup which is what i'm going to be going back to in this particular channel that is when i gave birth because that i you know i initially announced that like months ago during that saga time that i'm going to change my niche so i'm still gonna do that unfortunately belle con con everything comes scatter so i just know if you do one because that's require a whole lot of time and interest so i did my transformation makeup i was so good at it very good i can transform to any celebrity you know i see because i know how to do the contour and highlight very well I was so at I was so good at it that even if you want me to upload those videos again, I still have them in my hard drive. I could upload them so you could see how I was very, very, you know, interested. And then I I now checked another YouTuber and then the YouTuber was doing um vlog and I was like, okay, I think I can input input vlog in this my channel. And then I started vlog. I started doing lifestyle. I was enjoying it until I met another YouTuber who does beauty. And I was like, ah, this thing I was learning in my spa, I can actually put them on YouTube and then it will make me money, you know? <laughs> and then I, I went into beauty because it is what I have always loved and I've always done. I went into beauty and I opened up another channel my channel blew up god anointed my head <laughs> with oil oh yeah. my cup was running over <laughs> i i grew more than the person that i saw that motivated me to do beauty i grew like wildfire fire i grew to the point that i attracted lots of enemies so many companies reached out to me but i was so scared to you know take um advert and all of that because i'm like ah, the money i'm getting i don't want to go and click one particular link now and then um something something will come and happen to my channel so if you see me do not do advert not because they don't get not because they don't reach out to me but because i keep rejecting them because i've gotten um an experience of somebody that um, click a particular link and then she lost her account so me i was very skeptical i was very very um afraid and i rejected all of those people that came to me you know for promotions and all of that stuff because I was just being content i just didn't want to do oju kokoro for 200 dollars 500 dollars or 1000 dollars and come and lose so much that i've worked for do you understand so i'm like girl you have to concentrate you know where you came from so i should know where i'm going do you understand so i'm like no 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 i'm not going to accept all of this i just want to concentrate I concentrated and I was doing video back to back back to back back to back you see <laughs> like up to the point that um, my family were not just my family but like my cousin there's this my cousin not the one you guys know there's this my cousin that's you know reached out to me and was like ah, I did what what is happening you know then I've actually um, you know I was actually working in the hotel and she was like don't you go to work anymore and I'm like I go to work but when I come back, I put all my time, energy, resources, money, everything, sacrifice, like everything into this. As I when I joined YouTube nine years ago, a lot of Nigerian YouTubers have not joined YouTube. 
as i when i joined youtube it was my first video was monetized there was no limitation before i think after one year or two then they now started with 1000 1000 views i think when you get 1000 views before you get monetize no 10,000 views i think so i've forgotten before you get monetized you know then after another uh, some years they now change to this one that you guys know that is 4,000 watch hour and 1,000 subscriber which is kind of difficult but as at the time i joined youtube it was my first video was monetized so we we were kind of lucky you know so and yeah what did i do with my revenue i was i was saving it saving it saving it i just didn't want to start um being like some of my mates in my age like I'm a big woman for age i be old woman <laughs> i'm not a small girl but that's some of my mates on youtube that's what I'm, i mean some of my mates on youtube that you know when i see their life it's so flashy it's so beautiful but that is not my that is not where i'm going to because i know where i'm coming from i came came from a very humble background what i mean by humble background we we're not having money my mom was just struggling um like things were not going well like you see okay. anyways so since i know where i'm coming from I'm, I'm like no i need to save my money and think of something that i would have to use this money for because i just do not want to start buying start buying iphone 14 start buying bone street hair start driving a car of 30 million 40 million start you know living in my tama or in um use too if i wanted to live in all of those places i could afford it even as a single woman so i eat my life from the you know people from from even um suitors i eat my life i hide i hide my life i i hide my pocket you you not even know that <laughs> making that god has blessed me do you understand you not even know so it was when i got married to my husband who from the very first time you know um started this youtube with me do you understand my very my very first background my husband helped me in going to do the carpenter knock it polish it you know get a background to put it and all of that carried it with his head even as at that time he doesn't even know what i want to use it for but he's just kind of a supportive guy he was just my guardian angel do you understand and he's this kind of supportive guy that even as at that time when i want to make a video um i'll tell him okay i'm back from work please when you're coming back please buy me banana buy me tomato and all of that stuff so i can make it i can use it to do a diy on my beauty channel and he will he will do that like with his money and then when as that when i started my first videos i used my husband's bald head he was not my husband yet as at that time he was my guardian angel because i i, I i've i've actually I, I did not accept him very very easily like that so he was my guardian angel he was a guy i could i could call at distress in times of need in times of trouble and all of that so i was using my husband's bald head to as mannequin because then i did not have not you know buy mannequin so during that time of me doing transformation videos and stuff you know i needed a whole lot of wigs so i had a whole lot of wig that i actually did myself because i could not afford to buy you know like woman hair wig so i'll buy um attachment ribbon and then transform it into a wig uh like the particular week in which i want so i'll use my husband's bald head i'll go burn on fire that i don't have i don't burn my husband fire for head tire 
but he's the sweetest guy ever anyway so um he assisted me he, he was helping me whenever i want to do video on my beauty channel he's always there to carry this thing for me help me to you know if i say please give me something there give me knife give me this one he's always there to assist and do all of that for me i'm actually just telling you all of this so that you guys could know the journey that it wasn't an easy journey and my husband has been there ever since that time do you understand and my husband was there even before i started youtube my husband had wanted to get married to me even before i got to know youtube do you understand so that's why i'm like ah, i think the best person for me to stay with and be married to is this guy <laughs> anyway what have i been using my money for as i when i got married to my husband i now review myself i now told my husband see this is my dream i want to own an hotel but it's gonna be like a small hotel like a guest house not hotel but everything everything happened together for good the architect you know we contacted you know drew something very massive more than what we expected this is not what we wanted this is not what we wanted this is a bolingo standard if you know bol if bolingo if you know bolting white this is bolting white standard like are you kidding me it's so freaking big that even god surprised us do you understand everything worked out together for good the architect did what we did not ask him to do he drew something bigger than what we wanted and when when we were interpreting it on the ground i never even knew that this thing was going to be like this it was when we got to the first story building you know during that um lockdown no during that yes lockdown um because we started this project like four years ago my husband is the engineer the supervisor the 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 purchaser the the manager the everything he is everything and in all of this time that i've been giving birth we started this project even before we gave birth to beverly do you understand and then I gave birth to Benny. So during all of those times I was giving birth, I was being pregnant. I don't go to the site. I don't really go like that. So it so was my husband that was doing everything. He is, oh God. See, if you marry my kind of husband, God don't do it for you. <laughs> because there are some men that will be jealous of you as the wife but no god gave me a husband anyway so i decided to invest my money because i know where where i came from i don't want a situation whereby what if something happens to you too where will i go do you understand so i was coming so i was just busy investing my money you know hi i'm my husband and then <laughs> hi guys <laughs> Scar, 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 people. <laughs> like so some people have actually insulted us on on this vlog this whole vlog thing honestly we're going to just minimize it but not now until when we show you guys a lot of things like our bets and you know the process in which we use in building our hotel this hotel is among the biggest there's an hotel just after our hotel is big very big our own is two-story building that one is three-story building but before that hotel came in existence our hotel was the biggest in the whole of Cairo. we don't stay in Cairo, but that is where we built our hotel because Cairo, when you look at the land when you look at the map you know that Cairo is the fast developing um city in abuja a lot of things goes on there and um yeah we are so glad and happy 
I myself, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of the husband I got married to. I'm so proud of my family. And um, I want to tell you guys that my mom is the most sweetest mother ever for being patient. <laughs> for being patient. Because I, I, I read of a story where, you know, I read of this um, Fina and the father's saga online where the father was saying that the Fina I don't know what transpired I don't even want to know and then the father was bringing Fina out but my mother never uh -huh. brought me out because she knew what I was using my money for and she was patient because she knew that when because she knows say <laughs> now the house will be the problem if I had wanted to build a house this with this I would build seven duplex seven or even eight like i will build a very big standard standard big one a build one for me <laughs> eight duplex with money remaining but this if you're opportune to come and visit us or send us a guest they are going to tell you guys the story <laughs> God is so wonderful. Yes, I'm a big YouTuber. I can tell myself right now. I don't want to hide anymore because of course I want I want it's actually a business that I want people for you that are abroad. I want you to send your <laughs> I want you to send me a guest. If you have guests that is coming to Abuja, send send call you're gonna see i'm gonna post this in the community so you could see this number very well so you could call we're gonna be buying shuttle car very soon where we could be going to the airport to pick people and then we'll give them a very very comfortable accommodation and food restaurant hall bar outdoor garden we're gonna be having a swimming pool very soon there's gonna be club very soon there's gonna be um so much when that time comes for those particular ones i'm gonna sh i'm gonna show you guys but yeah this is a multi-billion naira project no be small play don't play don't play <laughs> don't play if you play you're gonna learn and you're gonna learn in the hard way <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, of all of the insults, stupid insults. Oh, Edith does not have meat in her soup. This is what we use our money for. Edith is eating white vegetable. I'll be wanting very sacrificed vegetable, wanting nonsense. This is what we use our money for. But we're happy. We're looking good. Beautiful skin. All of the things that we eat, we're happy and we're content because we don't want to. We don't want to use our money to impress you. We want to impress ourselves. I don't show. I don't like showing. I like what I do to show, to speak for itself. I need a like show body. What will I be doing? What, what will I gain if I please you and displease myself or displease my future or displease my children's future? I'm not going to gain anything. So there is no need trying to please anybody on YouTube and then displease my life, my future, my children's future, my family's future. I mean, I don't do that. So yes, it is. If you ask me now, it is what have you been using your YouTube money for? Uh, I'm a big YouTuber with a class. Big class. Because I'm using my Akonoche. I don't want to impress anybody. I don't want to live a flashy life and then later I'll not be like, hi, I've been get before. Try now wow. Mm -mm. This particular one that um I actually use my money for this is what i can say it's my business because we are going to manage it ourselves we are the i am the ceo my husband is is there the or and the general manager of course we manage our stuff ourselves and of course you know 
I've actually worked in an hotel. That gave me the inspiration to build hotel. Hotel is one very good sweet business. It requires so much, so much capital, but it is a life lifetime business that i don't even need to be there i can travel to dubai i can travel to us i can travel to america and my business will still run <laughs> they bust my brain <laughs> so you guys you are highly invited to eddie golden hotel and garden the name of my hotel is eddie golden hotel just because i decided to change it from editorial to eddie golden because i'm a golden girl <laughs> I'm a golden girl so I'm gonna be coming up to make a video these days I'm not usually very chance I'm busy like today I made interview busy going preparing place my husband is actually trying to grade the road and making sure that everything is set so we could open so there's no time I might not be making too much vlog okay but when I have a little time I'm going to start from the beginning from 2019 when we gave birth to this beautiful damsel cry cry baby <laughs> maybe i'm making a video you push and go you push and go i want to be professional now okay <laughs> you're not professional uh, <laughs> never mind professional put money inside your pocket please anyway guys so if any other thing you want to ask me you want to tell me whatever just leave your comments at the comment section or send me a dm in my instagram or send me oh just anyway anyway i'll see you guys later bye love you bye.